Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano Channel. I am Dano and I'm back with more Star Wars. Today we're looking at a book. It's a big old book. Uh, this is the Star Wars the Collected Intelligence of the Alliances, the Rebel Files, like collector's edition, fancy pants version of this book. You can buy the book and it's just a book, right? But I got the like super fancy, super duper edition because I'm crazy like that. And it, it looked really cool to me. So I want to show you guys everything, all the close-ups, what this looks like. Here we go. We've got a nice cool greenish like Star Wars logo. Again, there's our Rebel Rebellion logo. Notice that moves because it's in like a sleeve. It says the Rebel Files Collected Intelligence of the Alliance. Again, same thing on the top, same thing on the side. This does slide out. What do we got going on here? Branded as rebels and traitors, the members of the Alliance worked in the shadows, gathering information and support from across the galaxy to bring an end to the Empire's tyranny. Concealed within a secure case, their most vital and sensitive information was collected by one of Mon Mothma's most trusted aides and kept hidden until now. Discovered in the ruins of an abandoned rebel base, these files have been passed among members of the Resistance, who have added notes, updates, and new insights to the documents, transmissions, and gathered... Oh, I missed a sentence. A repository of Alliance Intelligence, the Rebel Files weave together classified documents, intercepted transmissions, and gathered communications to trace the formation of the Rebel Alliance. Within the case is an embedded projection unit activated by a push of a button. Displays the Death Star plans and the reconnaissance images of Death Star 2. Unlock the secrets of the Rebel Alliance. All right, next up it says includes Rebel case with two image projection unit. That's that. Fully illustrated 176 page book and five removable replica documents. Very cool. Author Daniel Wallace, illustrators Aaron Riley, Adrian Rodriguez, Chris Rive, Chris Travis, Diego Costa, Georgie L. Baroni, Isaac Hannaford, Joe Caroni, Maciej Ribis, and Randall Mackey, because you got to give credit where it's due. Look, Epic Inc., somewhere in Bellevue, Washington, Disney Lucasfilm. Guys, let's get this thing open. Now, I've already opened it. It was plastic wrapped on top of this, but I, I put it back in this kind of package. I wasn't sure if I was going to do a video review on it, but I thought it was too cool not to share with you guys. Plus, it's on Amazon. It's pricey. It's like 100 bucks. I got it for like 70 when it first came out. But look at that. I think that looks really cool. Look at just like just the look of it, the texture and the like. It, it's not textured; it's flat cardboard. But the textured look they tried to give it, like it's a little beat up, worn down case, looks really cool. But that's not even all. You open this thing. Oh, you guys need to see what that looks like close up. You guys need to see that close up. It's so cool. Okay, there we go. We've got our little case looking thing, right? Just a bunch of like fake scratches and stuff all over it. And let's open it up. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And there's the actual plastic case right here. Very cool. All right, now this does come right out of the box, so I can just remove it from its box. I don't believe there's anything else in here. I don't think there's anything else at all. Um, nope. That's it. So it's just a cardboard box that holds that. So, I mean, technically, if you don't want to, you can get rid of all this stuff. You don't need to keep this box. It says Rebel Files. It is a nice box, though. Good quality cardboard. Nice, well-made. But this case, look at this case. This is impressive. This is like a hard suitcase kind of. It's plastic for sure. But it's it's really it's really neat looking. There you go. We got a nice little white silvery Rebel logo. It's in this cool carrying case. There's the hinges on this side. There's a button on this side. Okay, that's how it opens up. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it one-handed or not. I don't think so. No handlebar or anything weird like that. But that's the other side. What does it say over here? Oh, just your normal kind of stuff. Cool. September 2017 is when they made it. All right, guys. I'm going to open this thing up. Are you ready? I don't know if you're ready for this. So you push your little lever and you open it up. And there we go. We've got the book inside. The book, so you guys can see. Books on this side. This side is where the projector is. I think there's a button I hit. It's very slow. You can, if you listen close, you can hear it. And it's slowly opening. Boom. Now, you want to see that from this end? I'm going to show you what that looks like. Okay, so there are your little buttons right over here. Push that down. How awesome is that? It's got this little projector, and there's a knob, so it does move. But there's this little knob, so I can change that over to Death Star 2 if I want. 
I, I think that's really great. So let's let's just do a slow version. See it again. This time with the Death Star 2. That is so cool. I love it. I think it looks so good. You know, we can bring it back further if we need to. Kind of tighten up how that looks. I can move it. It's a little rotating wheel. On the back it rotates. And you can choose which projection you want to show up when you open it. And again, here's the book. This is the book. It's strapped in there. It's really nice, textured, well-made book. I like it. You guys want to see what's in this book? Do you want to see what's in here? Now, meanwhile, this is still going. It might turn off in just a minute. But these are this is the Rebel Files. In the back, is there anything? Again, nice Rebellion book. Well, look at the color there. That's some cool stuff coming on in the middle. Yeah, I like that. All right. So, oh, what is this? This is like a evidence... Attention, General Leia Organa. So it's telling you what this artifact is. It tells you that th these are... This is evidence and stuff they found detailing. It bears Rebel Alliance identifiers. Contents were intended to be viewed only by senior members of the Alliance. You're one of the only people who fits that description. So it looks like they sent this to Leia. In the Resistance. And this is like current. This is in the Resistance right now. This is a bunch of stuff in history relating to the formation of the Rebel Alliance. So you go through, I'm going to go through just a couple pages and kind of show you what's what's in here. It says, the Alliance Cron. It's a cool picture of Mon Moth, Moth talking to some kids. Now, it's not like a regular book, because you'll notice it, there's like artifacts and there's like information, but then there's these scribbles. So this is by General Emat, who wrote something there. And then down here, we've got notes from Leia. She wrote in her own notes. Some more notes from Leia. This one's from Holdo. I like that it's purple. Holdo left some notes. There's more notes from Leia. Admiral Akbar. he has some stuff to say too. So this whole book is all these bits of information, high command. Like, you can flip to any page. This one talks about all the different areas of the uh, known galaxy. Did I see Ring of Kefrain? Yeah, Ring of Kefrain from Rogue One. That's awesome. So this is, this is really cool. This is active investigations. This is places they're investigating that might be troubled. And it tells you who it's from. General Draven, Commander Mothma. And there's a nice little note there from Leia. There's so much to this book. It's just so much. Just like every time I, I'm turning chunks and chunks of pages. And it's a really cool book that gives you all the details about the rebellion, documents about missions, just, it's such a cool book. And the fact that there's these notes. This is from Poe. This is from Poe. Poe's talking about Turbo Laser. So even Poe got to see this and write in his own notes. There's more from Holdo. Uh, this It's such a cool book. Look at that. There's another one. This is from Emat. There's so much cool stuff. A little detailing of the different ships that Cloud City's helping make. Outrider. Oh, I know that one. That's it. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. That's. I know Home One's crewers appreciate the Millennium Falcon because I've had the pleasure of giving the grand tour to more than one student of fine workmanship. You have an open invitation, Admiral. Lando Calrissian. This is a note from Lando Calrissian. That is really cool. To Admiral Akbar. What? That's really cool. So amidst all this other stuff, right? There's actually. Oh, what is this? So the very back. Fellow fighters of the Alliance, today you will undertake the most important action against the Empire in the Battle of Yavin. At Yavin, we fought with our backs to the wall. It's just like a little thing here, a little blurb telling you about the Battle of Yavin. And inside, there's this thing. There's these little pockets. See that? There's all these little pockets. And there's a prison intake form for Liana Halleck from Rogue One. The Yavin base evacuation checklist, corporate folder, Alliance intake personnel card. Now, these are like actual things. Like, I'm going to... Get out from pocket one. This is the intake form for prisoner Liana Halleck. So it's this little like card form thing. There you go. Now we know her is Jin Erso, but that was her fake name was Liana Halleck from the movie. So there's just like a little barcode. 20 years hard labor is what she was sentenced for before K2SO jumped in and rescued her. Uh, let me pull out maybe one more of these. This is kind of a cool one. This is the Yavin Base 1, Yavin 4 Evacuation Checklist. 
tells you all the different stuff they wanted to look at before they uh, took off. Don't forget your go bag. But just it's neat that it comes with these little pieces of paper like that, these little pieces of Star Wars information, Star Wars history. It's it's just cool. It's a really neat set, really awesome book. What is that? What is this? This is like a oh look, Lando Calrissian. That's really cool. That is so cool, guys. I want to know your thoughts. I've gone on for way too long on this book. I think I might have spoiled a little bit too much in case you were going to buy this yourself. I I like this. I think this kind of stuff is really cool. These deluxe versions with all the stuff are really, really neat. This is a fun read. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. A lot of neat Star Wars information you may not have known otherwise. I definitely recommend at least picking up the book by itself. Maybe not the whole package if that's not your bag or if it's too expensive. I get it. I just think it's cool. The Death Star plans opening up like that. The way it closes up into its own little case. This thing is awesome. For me, it gets a big, big, huge, huge thumbs, thumbs up, up. Because it is awesome. I want to know what you guys think. Is it thumbs up? Is it thumbs down? Too expensive? Want the regular book? Do you have it already? I say get it. I say go get it. Use the Amazon link down below. Now, if you use any of my Amazon links, I get credit for it. I get paid. It's called affiliate links. Full disclosure. I make money off that. I roll it back into the channel so I can buy cool stuff to do reviews like this. Now, if you're new around here, do yourself a favor. Subscribe to the Dano channel. Be part of the Dano channel family. If you want to take it up a notch, use the force on that little bell notification. That way you get notified every time I put out a brand new video. We do lots of lightsabers, lots of action figures, all kinds of crazy cool stuff. So I want you to be here. I want you to be a part of it. And those who are, I call my sad baby school. Normally on the toy videos, there's little things that says zero to three sad babies. It actually says zero to three babies. Or babies that are zero, sad, three baby. I don't know. I don't know what it means anymore because I've just been doing this for far too long. Now, guys, I want to share you in the video, so use hashtag sad baby squad. At me on Twitter and Instagram, at Daniel Flores. And I'm going to put you in the video just like this. And every time I end my video, I end them by saying, or asking? Saying, asking. Saying, asking. May the force have with you. See, I don't know. Is it asking? Is it telling? <laughs> and goodbye forever. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't already, subscribe. Join the Sad Baby Squad. Hit me up with your own clips, videos, whatever you guys are into. Fan artwork. I also have shirts and stuff available for sale. Hit those little links down below if you're at all interested. And that's it. Go watch another vid.